Integrating technology into the human body could make our mind sharper, our bodies healthier and our muscles stronger. But a majority of people are scared of these enhancements, a new study has found. More people said they would not want enhancements of their brains and blood, while women tended to be more wary than men about the potential enhancements from cutting-edge technologies. The researchers carried out a survey of more than 4,700 U.S. adults. The survey asked the public on views of gene editing, implantation of brain chips, and transfusions of synthetic blood. Developments in biomedical technologies are accelerating rapidly, raising new societal debates about how we will use these technologies and what uses are appropriate, said lead author Carrie Funk, from Pew Research Center, based in Washington, D.C. This study suggests Americans are largely cautious about using emerging technologies in ways that push human capacities beyond what's been possible before. Gene editing might give babies a lifetime with much reduced risk of serious disease. And brain chips could give people an improved ability to concentrate and process information, while synthetic blood might give people greater speed, strength and stamina. But most adults surveyed said the downsides of brain and blood enhancements would outweigh the benefits for society. Many people will probably adopt enhancement technologies in order to boost their physical and mental capacities, and they will do so to varying degrees and in all sorts of combinations, leading to a bewilderingly broad array of superhuman beings, Professor Michael Best told I am both excited and frightened at the prospect of such modified humans coming into being. Professor Bess is Chancellor's Professor of History at Vanderbilt University and author of the book Make Way for the Superhumans, an in-depth survey of the evolving science of bioenhancement. His views are shared by the U.S. population. The majority of respondents said these enhancements could make the divide between haves and have-nots worse. For instance, 73% believed inequality would increase if brain chips became available because only the wealthy could afford them. Religion also had an effect on people's attitudes. More religious people were, on average, less likely to embrace these potential types of enhancement, the study also found. People high in religious commitment were less likely than those low in religious commitment to want each of these three enhancements. The public was also less likely to support changes if they were permanent and could not be undone. But these techniques are happening already and research is continuing to progress. For example, the world's first clinical trial that will inject humans with genetically modified cells created with a groundbreaking DNA editing technology is set to start next month. Oncologists at Sichuan University's West China Hostel in Chengdu have been given approval to begin the tests with cells modified using the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technique.